It's exciting times in the DSTV Premiership where we have two South African teams in the quarterfinals of the CAF Champions League and we, we happen to be the only country that has two teams in the CAF Champions League. For the very first time ever, Brian, we will have two quarterfinalists. I mean, it's exciting times um, for, for South African football, so the, um, exciting times for South African coaches as well as we are guaranteed to have a South African coach um, in, in the semifinals as Upizo Mosima and his um, Red Devils. Yal Ali will take on the Brazilians, E Melody Sundowns. That's what we'll be taking. Um, that's what we'll be dissecting um, on this show where we've got O'Brien oh, Nike and my name is obviously Ubanele P. O'Brien. Let us dissect the fixture between um, E. Mamelodi Sundowns and the Al Ali. I mean, that is a humdinger of note. Um, we've seen the mind games already started. I mean, they started a month ago with the coach um, Rolani saying if Upizu Musiman is um, honest, he, he knows that um, E. Mamelodi Sundowns is not the team they want to face. And yeah, there's Upizu Musiman is saying um, e. Sundowns is a well rested team. I mean, familiar scenes there, all, and he was handed a fine there. So, I mean, it's been already um, some hype um, around this match. Let us see the game. What do you think is going to happen on the something? I think it's going to be a very exciting game between exciting. two quality teams. And I'm excited for our South African players, mm. especially to, to prove themselves and show that they deserve to be at the top of the game and in yeah. Africa because mm. we, we've been let down in Bafana, but mm -hmm. uh, we do have the right players and I think most of them are at sundown. So mm -hmm. if anyone are going to overcome this unlikely challenge, it's going to be sundown. to sundown. So yeah, I agree. If there's a South African team that can match um, Pizzo Mosiman is Al Ali. It is indeed um, Imamaluti Santos. So yeah, we must also remember that the Al Ali are the current um, current champions of the CAF Champions League as they beat um, is Amalek 2-1 in last year's final. I mean, Pizzo Mosiman winning his second um, Champions League trophy there. Brian, can Upizu Musimane be the one to take out his former team in the quarterfinals? I'm going to put you on the spot here straight away. Who's going to progress um, to the um, semifinals between the three wise men or Upizu Musimane? Uh, I'm biased. I have to say that uh, I love South Everyone African should football. Be. Every South African I love South African be. coaches. Mm. So for this one, I think it's going to be a very tight game. But I'm going to side for. I'm going to side with Sundowns because mm. I think uh, Shalolila is in excellent form Definitely. and. Besides that, there are a lot of South African players there that I rate very highly. It's mm -hmm. uh, like that midfield of Rivaldo Kutsia and uh, Mkulise, Mabo, yeah. uh, Chambazwane. They're just a few to name. And then you've got those Serenos and Shadow Leaders up front to, to hurt you. So I'm going to go with a slim victory for Sundowns. Sure, uh, that's a very big call there from O'Brien Nike. He's siding with the Brazilians, um, E. Mamelodi Sundowns. I think um, the winner of the Kev Champions League can come um, from this game. I mean, whoever wins it here, I think, has got a very, very good chance of um, progressing and actually winning the trophy. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see if the three wise men can deliver the second star um, to the Brazilians. Talking about um, the Kev Champions League, I mean, surprise, surprise, we have Kaiser Chiefs for the very first time in their history. They are in the quarterfinals and they'll be taking on um, Tanzanian Giants, Isimba FC. And the winner here, I mean, will, will be in the semifinals for the very first time. History will be made um, in this game. And yeah, I think, I mean, this is like a 50-50 kind of game. Isimba were hoping to get the Chiefs and the Chiefs were hoping um, to, to get Isimba. And yeah, who will be in the, um, in the semifinals for the very first time? It's going to be challenging for Chiefs. Yeah. I think on, on DSTV Premiership front, it's been very difficult yeah, yeah, yeah. for them. It's been and busy, yeah, but uh, there is hope, and I think the clean sheets have helped them a lot in, in CAF Champions League. So that will be key for them to, to progress and, and beat Samba. Because I think Samba are already here and they're going to watch Chiefs' next league game. So that's going to give more analysis for them and more time to prepare for us. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think it's going to be a narrow game and probably a clean sheet, maybe nil nil in that one. Talking about clean sheets, I mean, we saw Idumelan Kune was injured and then came Akbe, he was also injured. And we saw a third choice, um, Oprus Voma, um, playing in the last two games um, of EK's Chiefs. I mean, what do you think on, 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 on this one? Let's say you are Gavin Hunt at the moment, you've got to Oprus Voma, who's fit? You know, third choice keeper, do you um, risk and bring Ukuni, who's um, just recovered from an injury, or do you play Uprus Fuma? What do you do on this one? It has to be Kune. Yeah, I also it think it has to be Kune for me. A, a, a half fit Kune is better than um, a fully fit um, Bruce Fuma, if, we, if we're being honest. I mean, yeah, that's it uh, from me and O'Brien. Uh, we that's what we think. I mean, CAF Champions League, good luck to Amakosi, um, the Glamour Boys, Kaiser Chiefs. And I think if Chiefs are to stand, 
any chance of uh, progressing to the semi-finals. I think um, the chance comes this weekend. That's where they should um, stamp their authority. At least win 3-1 or 2-0. Give themselves a two-goal cushion when they go to Ed al, al Salam in, in Tanzania. And remember, there'll be um, supporters in Tanzania, so they'll have that 12-man um, advantage. So it's, it's a little bit a tricky one for Kesa Chiefs. Good luck to the Brazilians also in Mamelodi Sundowns as they take on... Um, Coach Pizzo Musiman is Al Ali, the Red Devils. So yeah, remember to subscribe and that's it from me and O'Brien Naika. Shab shab. For more soccer betting tips and previews, get the latest copy of Soccer Betting News for only 10 rand at your nearest Hollywood Bets branch or news agents. <laughs>